kitchen we are cooking a chuck roast but what i'm going to do is brown the chuck roast season a little bit put it in the crock pot put it in the crock pot then we have red onion white onion and we also have some green peppers and some carrots that we're going to put in there on top of it um we got cream of mushroom soup this is what i have we're going to use that and i also have a can of cream of chicken and mushroom soup that we're going to use so we're going to put it in the crock pot and we're going to let it cook for hours um i already got my crock pot warming up it's is good and hot so we we'll put the little bit of water in there so i'm going to put you know what actually i'm going to put some chicken broth in there let's put a little bit of chicken broth in it and then we're gonna put a little water i'm gonna mix a little water in with the cream of mushroom and stuff i'll show you that when i get ready to do that but just thought i'd show you what we're having for sunday's dinner today all the lushness so we're gonna use a little bit of olive oil as we use for everything and what we want to do is just dry up this a little bit Girl, you know, it's like on the camera. Let's get it brown a little bit. Now that it's calming down a little bit, we just want it to brown and season a little bit. And we can before we put it on the crock pot to pick up. And I'm going to use a little salt. So that's what we want. We just want to sear it. So just sear it a little bit before we put it in the pot. Then we're going to transfer it to the pot pot and let it cook down for a few hours. Uh -huh. It's going to be some hours though. So I just want to start it up like this. Here it is now. Okay, we have some seared meat here. We're working on the other batch. And I put a lot to my granddaughter this time and yeah, so and she eats a lot. And <laughs> you know, rose goes really quickly. So I put this. We got this seared up with it all nice and seared. And we're working on another batch. He's putting his drone together. See, that's what he do. He has to sit down and read the book. He read over everything. That rich, I took that drone out the box and threw it in there and figured it out. <laughs> I don't read directions. My husband reads directions. Huh? And here's Taylor to us all over the floor, all over a mess. That is supposed to hold everything, but he chose to take it down and leave it like that, didn't you? Didn't you? But yeah, the mister got to read the whole pamphlet. Me, I'd have had that drone flying or something halfway. Fly. There you go, fly. I probably would have had it fl flying. It. You, no, nah, it's nothing wrong, wrong with it. It's not just, you don't read the directions. I don't never, I don't read directions. I go by pictures most of the time. <laughs> I don't. I I don't. Oh yeah, you do. He 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 reads directions. My daughter like that though. Lamika's like that. Our daughter, she yeah. Lamika, hey, Mika have to read directions to the T like her papa. I don't that, like. That's why she's so effective. So you say I'm not effective. I read. Not, I just no. You just, that, that I don't. I just, I just take and stuff and out and just put it together. And fly it off for a picture. I, hey, I bet you I have it up and running. I don't read directions like talking about. Lamika could do that, though. That's why she really put stuff together because she'll sit down and read. She's like you. And you can't touch it for her. Like, somebody can't start it and she come in and finish it. Uh -huh. She has to actually, from start to finish, from start to finish. yeah. Okay. And she'll tell you don't mess with it. She'll do it from start to finish. He got a screwdriver doing something, Papa. Yeah, that's a busy little, that's a busy bee right there. Yeah, you know, tell him y'all were going to fly. She he get ants in there. <laughs> While our roast is still in, um, finished fixing up, uh, searing up. <laughs> While our roast is finished searing up, we're going to go ahead and mix this. 
um, look to onion soup mix, and this into a pot. Add a little bit of water, so when we get finished with that, we can dump it all in the crock pot. Don't, don't fly it into the screen and mess up the screen. So this is what our Lipton and mushroom, Lipton onion soup mix and mushroom is looking like. And some water, just let it, you know, do its thing. So what we're gonna do, we are going to go ahead and put our white onions, red onions and green peppers on top of this meat, on top of this roast. What, baby? Mama. What, baby? Mama. Oh, thank you. This is your little towel. Mama. What, baby? This is your little towel. My YouTube. <laughs> okay, put it in the um sitting room for me. Okay. Thank you. So, yeah, we're going to put all of this goodness in there, and I think that is enough. I chopped up more than I actually needed for onions and green peppers. Well, I, mean, I didn't put that many green peppers, but the onions I did. So, I don't know why it's so dark, though looking dark in there over here but i'm gonna do lots of carrots carrots because they're good for you I, now normally if i put them in the oven um when they almost done i would put potatoes in but i'm not gonna do that today we're not gonna put the potatoes in today because i'm gonna do mashed potatoes but a lot of the time, I haven't cooked a roast in years when i say years i'm talking about years that's how my grandma used to cook it though so Without searing her meat, she would just throw it in and call it a day, girl. But, so we got all that lushness in there. I have seasoned it. I don't want to over season it because honestly, the cream of mushroom and um, onion soup mix has a lot of seasoning in it. And sometimes you can over season. I don't want to over season and be having to try and, you know, come back and eat. Take that, which is done. So, we're just going to pour this in there. And girl, when it cooks down, honey, mm, you talking about something good. It's going to be really, really good. For real, it is. Okay, so we have everything just in Mama, here marinating. Girl, I got to take me back there. Huh? It's Callie's birthday. So we have everything in the pot and nothing to it, but put the lid on it. And I do have it on high. I'm gonna cook it on high um, and just chill out and wait for it to get done. A few hours, I don't know, three, four hours, five hours, it'll be ready. Might not take that long, but I'm gonna let it get good and run it, then we'll turn it down a little bit. Today we're doing it different. We got some meat and some onions in here. We're going to let this fry up a little bit and then we're going to add the cabbage with no water or anything. We're just going to let the cabbage cook in its own water today. Um, I'm trying to fry. I want to really do fried cabbage. I could have put them in the, in the pan, but I don't know what might be just there. Like this instead. So we're going to add the cabbage to the pot. We'll put the lid on it and let it simmer. Cabbage looking good. Girl. So our pot roast is completed. You can have as much or as little juice as you would like. So if you want less juice, then you can reduce it. I want it more because we're going to put it over the rice. But yeah. Rice, which I've mixed up in season, cornbread. I did that by accident. Corn, 
And girl, these ghetto cat sheets are good today. Um, so yeah, this is this is Sunday's dinner that we're about to devour. <laughs> 